Hey everyone, today I want to show you how to tone down oversaturated colors using Luminar AI. Hello and welcome to Luminar Coffee Break. I'm Angela Andrew and today we're going to use the color and HSL tools in Luminar AI to pull back on some oversaturated colors. Let's take a look at the image we'll be working with today. As you can see in this image, it's beautiful, but the greens, especially in this area here and over here, and then some of the reds and yellows up here are just a little bit over the top. What I wanna do is use Luminar AI's tools to make this image look a little bit more natural. I wanna take a moment and say hello to Joseph. Hi, German. So glad you guys are able to join me today. Let me know if you have any questions in the chat. I'll be keeping an eye on that throughout the presentation. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna begin with the light tool. And the first thing I usually do when I'm doing color correction is adjust the white balance. The white balance in this image is pretty close, but I think I can dial it in a little bit further. I'm gonna grab this eyedropper tool here, and I'm looking for something that's probably close to a medium gray in this image. I think our best option is going to be one of these pieces out here. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on that. And that makes a really subtle color adjustment to the image. And honestly, I feel like it toned it down a little bit just with that one change. From there, I'm gonna pull back on my highlights. And what I'm doing with this is I'm trying to pull back and get a little bit more of the detail in some of these brightest areas. I might wake up the shadows a little bit, not too much. And that just gives me a little bit better image to work with. I'm also noticing a, um, some chromatic aberrations and fringing up here in this area. In these high contrast areas where you have something that's backlit, sometimes when the light wraps around things like these little branches, we get those red fringes. We can easily correct that down in our optics tool in the professional section and just by clicking defringe. And that's gonna clean that up really, really well. Okay, now that we've got our image, really has a, has a very solid foundation, what I wanna do is go back up here to our essential tools and into the color tool. Hey Nigel, so good to see you. Okay, so we're gonna be here in the HSL section. If it's collapsed, all you need to do is click that arrow, expand this section. In here we have three different options. We have hue, saturation, and luminance. Hue is going to adjust the actual color. So for instance, here with our red channel, we can make our reds more pink, more magenta, or we can make them more orange. We can take our yellows, make them more orange, or make them more green, and so forth. So what I wanna do with this one here is take a look at some of the brightest colors we have here. Our greens actually have a lot of yellow in them. So what I'm gonna do is take my green channel and I'm gonna slightly move it to the right, and that's gonna add a bit of separation between my actual yellows, which are more up here, and the greens, which, we were, which when we perceive green, we actually have a lot of yellow there. So what I'm doing here is pulling back a little bit on that yellow. There we go. And now I'm gonna to switch to our saturation. Now, if you know exactly what you wanna do with these um, three options here, don't feel like you have to take them in order. You can do saturation first, you can do luminance first, and then bounce back and forth to make adjustments. I typically go down the list and then bounce back as I need to. So next we're gonna do saturation. First thing I wanna do is address these greens. They're far, far oversaturated. Let's pull this down quite a bit and you'll notice that some of these areas start to look, I think the best word I can use to describe it is dusty. They've lost their, their essence, they've lost, they've lost that natural look. They don't look quite real anymore. So let's go ahead and pull back on that green. We wanna make sure we keep some saturation there. We just wanna pull it back a little bit. That looks pretty good. And up here in our yellows, those yellows are also very saturated. Now keep in mind, as we pull back on the yellows, it is also gonna impact those greens. So you'll see as I pull this down, we start losing some of that vibrance in both our trees and in these yellow areas right here at this part. So I'm gonna pull that back just a little bit. I think right about there looks excellent. Now let's take a look at how far we've come so far. Just with the color tool, there's our before and there's our after. So let's take it a little bit further and drop down into the luminance category. And this is gonna affect the brightness and darkness of each of these individual colors. I wanna go down to my greens and I wanna darken down these green tones. And because this area back in here is already in the shadows, it really makes sense to pull back on those greens and it feels natural to have them a bit darker. 
You don't want to go too far again. It just makes it look a bit unnatural. You pull that back a little bit and that looks pretty good. I'm also going to darken down those yellows just a tiny bit. I want to give them definition and I don't want them to be quite so almost neon looking. Now, as I did this, now this red area here looks a little bit over the top. There's a couple of different things we could do. We could pull down on our red luminance, which would darken it. We could go into our saturation and desaturate those reds a little bit. But what I found worked best in this situation was actually to go back into the hue category and take those reds and actually move them a little bit towards orange. So check that out. That actually pulled back a little bit on those reddest tones, made it look a lot more natural. We can even take some of these yellows up here and make them a little bit more orange. And that gives kind of a late afternoon glow to those, that little, um, where the light's hitting those trees back there. It just looks really, really nice. So there we have it. That's how I go through and I tone down specific colors in an image. There's a lot of power in the HSL tool. And I find that the, the colors that I usually have to work with the most are gonna be my greens, my yellows, and my reds. And this image really showcases how to work with those different options, the hue, saturation, and luminance, to tone that down and get a really natural result. Let's take a look at our overall before and after. It's a really dramatic change. Now, if you feel like you backed off the colors a little bit too much, you can always go down here to the overall amount slider at the bottom, pull that back a little bit and bring back a little bit of that original color if you feel like it needs it. A lot of this is very much to your personal taste and what you're trying to accomplish with your image. So let me know in the comments what you guys think, if you would do anything different, and if you have any questions. I'll do my best to get those things answered for you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up here on YouTube. Our producers love to see that. And let us know if you have any topics that you want us to cover. Uh, with that, I am Angela Andrew, and we'll see you at the next coffee break.